Today we're going to go over just very quickly the IOC intelligent orientation control for your Phantom. Now most of the time you'll probably be flying in the GPS mode. GPS uses the global positioning satellites to tell your Phantom exactly where it is on the planet. So you'll have more than six satellites locked into your Phantom that'll keep it hovering in one place to within three feet if it's not hovering within three feet and staying in one spot, you might have to recalibrate your compass. But that's what the GPS mode is for right up here. And you want to fly with the right hand switch here in the very top position, which is GPS. The next position down is ATTI, or attitude control. Over here on the left hand side, we have the IOC switches. IOC is either on off or in course lock or in home lock. Now normally when you take off you want to be in the GPS mode. In GPS it allows you to lock in to the global positioning satellites so that your Phantom knows where the home point is or the point of takeoff. And that way if you do get into trouble out there all you gotta do is either turn off your radio so it goes into fail safe mode and does a return to home or switch into the home lock position. Home lock can also help you get your Phantom back should you become disoriented. So let's say you're way out there and you're 500 feet or more away. And let's say your Phantom is all spun around in different directions and you've lost orientation or are not sure just exactly where you're at. The first thing you want to do is switch your radio transmitter into the home lock position. Just two clicks down and you're in home lock. Now the way to look at home lock is it's like a giant pie and it's been cut into let's say 12 different pieces. Each one of those lines intersects to the middle of the pie. So wherever you're at is the home point and all points away from that lead out from that piece of pie, correct? All right, now once you switch into home lock, the phantom is going to act like it's a, a pie. If you pull back on the stick, that line is going to lead back to the center. So whether you're to the left, out beside you, or to the right, or behind you, or in front of you, you still just pull back on the stick, on the right stick, and the Phantom is going to track back toward the home point, or toward home. So that's the first thing you want to do if you get disoriented, or if you want to practice it even, just get your Phantom out there about 100 feet away or 60 feet away or so, switch into the home lock position, and then just pull back on the right stick. Just pull straight back and watch the Phantom come straight back to you. It doesn't matter what direction the Phantom is pointed. It could be pointed to the right, to the left, to the back, to the front. It's still going to track back directly to the home point. Now the way to look at the course lock position is sort of like a box and the bottom right corner of that box is where you are or where the home point is. Course lock is for when you want to photograph something that is on a straight line. Like let's say you're out at a track and you're doing a, a track and field event and you want to follow the runners down that track and you're going to be up and beside them following them down the track. Well, if you started out at the beginning and just started heading down the track toward the direction of travel that the runner is going in, switch into course lock. Once you switch into course lock, the Phantom is going to stay on that path. It's going to follow the runners down the track no matter which way the Phantom is pointed. So you could essentially follow them down the track and gain on them and be out in front of them and still turn your Phantom to point toward the runners. So you can rotate the Phantom 360 degrees on its axis while you're flying in a straight line. Now up here on the right hand side, we have the GPS, ATTI, and ATTI settings. The reason they've got ATTI on there twice is by default from the factory, it goes GPS, ATTI only. So they put ATTI on there twice, but they're essentially the same thing, no matter which position you have it in. Nothing's going to change if you set it from ATTI and go down one more into ATTI again. 
The difference is, if you want to switch to manual mode, you would go into the NASA Assistant software, and in the NASA Assistant software, you can enable the manual mode on the settings page. It's in the bottom right hand corner and it's a little bit difficult to find, but go down there and where it says ATTI down there, just click on that and it'll give you the option to switch it into the manual mode. Activate the manual mode there and then this switch, when you switch it into the bottom ATTI position, it'll now be in the manual mode. If you do decide to fly in manual mode, be prepared. It's not for the novice and it's going to take a lot of practice. Get up about 50 or 60 feet in GPS mode and then switch into manual mode. If you can't control it and you're having a hard time, get ready to switch right back into GPS mode so the aircraft will level itself again. If you do get into manual mode and you're doing okay, do some practices with it. You can do flips and tricks and fly faster than you've ever flown before. That's going to do it for today, gang. Thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel at Bowers95713. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and then check back in the future for more great videos, a few crashes, a few tips, tricks, and modifications for your quadcopter. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye.